We have Honorable Minister uh, Mr. Gautam Reddy ji also with us. Hi, good evening, Jitender, uh, and good evening to all the delegates and participants. We, if all others can unmute the mic, we will start our proceedings for today's evening. Most of the dignitaries and participants of this wonderful conference have arrived. Let me take this pleasure to welcome uh, our Honorable Minister Industries, Mr. Gautam Reddy ji, our partner uh, in this wonderful event and work ahead, Mr. Adam, the Head of Industry Association of Medical Devices in India, Mr. Rajiv Nath, uh, the officials uh, both from Government of India, uh, Mr. Saurav Gorji, Dr. Arbin Mitraji, and the official uh, officials from the state government, including our uh, very respected uh, Secretary Industries, Mr. Karai Kalwanji. Let me start today's conversation simply by saying that the most beautiful of the friendships and most beautiful of the partnerships always start in most difficult times. And these partnerships uh, last a lifelong. What had happened, and it is for, uh, for the information of all, it is for the information of all the, all the people in today's conference, and particularly uh, our most beloved and honorable minister, uh, I would like to mention that when the COVID challenge hit the country, AMTZ was given uh, along with few other partners in the country, the mandate of producing ventilators. Now, ventilators or any other complex medical equipment requires large number of complex electronics, the sensors, the valves, uh, the connectors, the circuits. And we suddenly realize that we have no national capacity in the component value chain, even if we want to make ventilators. And that was the time when few companies took uh, invoices, uh, advance, and gave us supply sheets, which they never adhered to. Ventilator production took a hit because these companies did not honor their supply schedules. At that point of time, we came across Amphenol. We reached out to Amphenol through our Science and Technology Ministry and through the Indian Embassy in the US. And Amphenol, with its brilliant team, started supplying large number of sensors, right from thermometers, uh, non-invasive, uh, non-touch non thermometers to ventilators, and uh, helped us come out of a very difficult situation. Then we realized that this demand and supply relationship can actually become a partnership. <laughs> and it is at that point that we undertook this discussion and uh, uh, for the information and submission to our honorable minister, today is the 90th day of our first phone call to Amphenol. And Amphenol, who has been a great partner in progress of electronics movement in India, is now opening a new chapter in medical devices. With that, I want to show a small video of, uh, of a minute and a half on what AMTZ is. Of course, we have some of the centers of AMTZ already online, such as the rapid prototyping center you can see online. Uh, similarly, we have electromagnetic interference center, a center in which you can see a lot of lights and cones. We have our team of scientists and we have I am Fenol team from across the world uh, on this uh, on this video conference, along with industry partners and the scientific community from the government of India. Let me share with you a small uh, minute and a half video on the AMTZ, and then I hand over the floor to Mr. Adam uh, uh, to speak a few words 
Uh, uh, welcome, Mr. Adam. Welcome to yet another Indian partnership, perhaps the first one of this kind in medical electronics. And, and then we will take forward the proceedings. So with your permission, I will play a small video for our guests from the US uh, to know what AMTZ is. Mr. Adam, uh, uh, welcome once again. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you on board as part of the family of uh, Andhra Pradesh State's industrial team and, and also as a member of AMTZ in making uh, and in helping us make progressive advancements in the medical technology sector in India. Over to you, Mr. Adam. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Sharma. And we're truly grateful for the opportunity today and I'd like to extend also my greetings to the most honorable minister, Reddy. We're so grateful for your support and participation today. I'm joined here today as well by a number of Amphenol colleagues from around the world. And I, I have here our senior vice president, Jean-Luc Gabel, in charge of our interconnect and sensor systems. I have Pete Straub, who is our group general manager in charge of our sensor business. He is the king of sensors inside of Amphenol. I have as well Robert John, who is here, and Robert is the managing director of Amphenol India, 20 years in Amphenol, and also presiding over our half century that we have been in India, and I'll talk about that in a moment. I have as well Anil Nambiar, who is here, a most recent addition to the Amphenol family, which was our first sensor acquisition in India. And Anil, we're so grateful to have you here. We have many others, but I would be remiss to not also highlight Eric Haidt. Uh, Dr. Sharma, you know Eric, who has been on the front lines with your team to help make that very fast negotiation and discussion to complete in, as you said, just 90 days. Um, you know, on April 15th, the real peak of the crisis, as, as I was living it in New York, where I live, just no, close to New York City, um, we received a phone call from the Indian Embassy, actually to our headquarters, and asking us for the supply of sensors. I had just been to India two months prior to celebrate our 50th anniversary of Amphenol in India, a celebration that we held in Bangalore under the great leadership of Robert John. 
uh, to really celebrate how we have helped India to develop as a nation and how proud we were of Panthanal's role in the development of India. And when we received that phone call asking for a few part numbers of sensors, immediately I asked our team to spring into action to do anything possible that we could do to help India in this battle against COVID-19. And Pete Straub and Eric Kite and Rob Twinney, Anil Nambiar and the whole team did amazing work to make sure that we could secure the capacity for you at that time when we had customers around the world who were asking for unprecedented amounts of pressure sensors. But we felt that there was more that we could do and we were so grateful, Dr. Sharma, for you and your team to open up the opportunity to make a more strategic investment and take a more strategic role in the production of medical equipment in India. And I think that today, when we come together, we are so proud to be here to, to sign that MOU and, and formalize this next step in the relationship of Amphenol with the nation of India and also with AMTZ and the Indian Medical Technology Zone. Now, maybe before I would talk a little bit about Amphenol, I think we also have a short video, Dr. Sharma. And is that on your computer that could be played? Yes, absolutely. Would you um, mind to do me the favor to play that short video? At Amphenol PCS. At SAA. Amphenol Costco. At Amphenol Aerospace Operations. Amphenol Antenna Solutions. Amphenol Industrial Operations. We are connecting. Connecting the world. We are connecting the world. We are connecting the world. Connecting the world. One mobile device. One sensor and backplane system. Power connection. One data center. One antenna. One innovation. And one person. One person. One person. One person. One person. One person at a time. One person at a time. At a time. At a time. At your time.
much, Dr. Sharma, for playing this video. And I know uh, over, over a webcast, sometimes videos are not perfect, but I hope that gives you a little sense of Amphenol. What I wanted to tell you is that Amphenol, we were founded in 1932 as American Phenolics Company, making connectors, actually for the revolution of radios. And we came to India for the first time in 1970. And that is exactly 50 years ago this, this year. And we started in Pune, India, as a small manufacturer of components, initially for the Indian communications and telecommunications industry and the Indian military. We expanded in Pune over the years, ultimately opening our facility in Bangalore. Um, later on, we added to both of those facilities very significantly. We've made uh, many, many investments in those cities. Later on, we opened our first factory in Chennai. Uh, to support the communications industry. We've since opened two more factories in Chennai. And we began also operations in Cochin with the acquisition of Amphenol FCI um, just, uh, just four years ago. And then most recently with the acquisition of Exothermometrics, we have around India today more than 6,000 team members across nine facilities and offices and supporting India across really all areas of the electronics industry. I mentioned to you, Dr. Sharma, when we first spoke, that we were so proud of having played a role in initially the expansion of communications, fixed line communications in India, later the modernization of the Indian military, the expansion of the Indian rail and transportation networks, the development of first generation, second generation, and now all the way to fifth generation mobile communication, working with India in the automotive industry from the smallest early days to now creating electric vehicles where we're one of the leading suppliers of interconnect solutions for electric vehicles, electric buses, delivery, utility vehicles, and otherwise. All the way until just this year with the acquisition of Exothermometrics in Bangalore, which started our sensor production in this great nation, as we call it, incredible India. Robert John has been with us for 20 of those 50 years and has really presided over the expansion of our uh, capabilities and importance to India. In the military industry in particular, Robert, who runs our military aerospace business in India, we're on the front lines of essentially every new program that is there in support of the modernization of the Indian military, uh, from Shakti to Brahmos to the trainers and the next generation, all the way to the Indian uh, Space Agency, where we're the largest supplier of Interconnect for ISRO and all what you're doing to take India also to the moon and to beyond. And so it's only natural for us that we would be there at the ground level as you build the Indian uh, medical uh, electronics industry. And that we are so proud to be there with you and to start this wonderful partnership. You said it earlier, Dr. Sharma, that great partnerships and friendships oftentimes are forged in times of crisis. And we agree with you wholeheartedly. And while I've never had the chance to meet you in person because of this strange pandemic in which we are all living today, I can tell already that that is a friendship that will last forever. And that is something in India that we are so proud of. Along the way with creating what we believe has been so much value as India has modernized and become even more incredible over these years, is that we have created deep friendships around the country and partnerships with people that last a lifetime. I, for one, am an enormous fan of India. I love coming to India, going to all the corners of your wonderful nation. As Robert knows, I am a big fan of Indian food, and I even here in the United States on occasion make myself a dosa for my family. And so it is for me a warm, warm event to be able to say here that we are expanding our position in incredible India today with this great investment and great partnership. And I so much look forward to coming to Andhra Pradesh myself to one day have a, a, an opening in person of this great initiative. And we look forward to supporting you as you do that great work of protecting our Indian, your Indian nation and the citizens of India. I can tell you that our 6,000 people 
around India, represented by these gentlemen and others, are so grateful for the work that you are doing at AMTZ to protect the citizens of India, not only from this dangerous virus that we are all living with this year, but I'm sure from many other issues that will arise in the future. And it is our great privilege and pride to be able to join you in that such noble mission here today. Thank you so much, Minister Reddy, and all of you who are here today. And we're proud to be partners with AMTZ and proud to be part of Incredible India. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, thank you for those extremely nice and encouraging words. I am slightly deviating from the scheduled plan because uh, Dr. Arvind Mitra, who is Secretary to Government of India uh, in the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister, is with us. Uh, and he needs to leave for an engagement uh, uh, in, in 10 minutes. So before he leaves, I want to grab a few moments from him uh, before he leaves uh, for his next engagement. Dr. Arvind Mitra, if you are there. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jitendra. Uh, I am here. I hope I am audible. Uh, uh, I must uh, first start with my uh, warm words of congratulations to Amphenol, uh, uh, led by, uh, by Adam Norwit and uh, Dr. Jitendra Sharma, uh, leading AMTZ for this uh, historic moment today. Uh, as uh, 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 Mr. Norwich actually described uh, the last 50 years of uh, historic collaboration that we have with India. I cannot but vouch uh, uh, more uh, the Indo-US relationship uh, that has spanned in a robust way as natural partners, uh, 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 you know, at different times uh, of history. Uh, I have for myself been very closely involved as the founding executive director of the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum, having started the Indo-US Endowment Fund for Innovation, to see the uh, innovation prowess uh, which US has and how India and US can really work together to produce goods which are world-class, uh, you know, uh, but at the same time uh, at affordable prices. Uh, I think this is, this is the great value this partnership brings, I believe, you know, two nations which are hands-on and minds-on, if, if they come together, they can really make wonders. And I think today's uh, MOU is really a historic one, as it is, uh, as you celebrate your 50 years of uh, celebration uh, your, of your presence in India, I think this is really a landmark uh, MOU and relationship that you are embarking upon. I can say so because I've also seen AMTZ growing from almost scratch from a barren uh, open land to where it is uh, in a phenomenal way under the dynamic leadership of, uh, of Jitendra Sharma. Uh, and the whole institution has stood up to the challenge of time over the years, you know, and meeting the needs and aspirations, as you said, of the people of India in the best possible way. Uh, uh, I have had the privilege again to work very closely with him over the last few years. Uh, and. Uh, and I can vouch that uh, it's a very dedicated and passionate organization uh, which, which believes in collaborations and partnerships and values it. I think this uh, MOU is historic in many ways at a time uh, when COVID-19 has shown that we cannot depend on supply chain in one or country, one or place, and it is important for us, therefore, to build as many partnerships and collaborations across uh, and this is really, this partnership is a testimony to it. I think uh, for India, biomedical devices uh, is a big area. It's an important area. We have a huge import bill on biomedical devices uh, and working through these partnerships, I think we can make India a self-reliant country and also provide goods uh, that can go to other nations uh, as well, uh, which also need these devices, particularly the area of sensors and power electronics is very, very relevant. And I'm so glad uh, that Amphenol would be actually uh, bringing this expertise uh, into, into AMTZ uh, that would really help us uh, and AMTZ in a big way to expand in the area of biomedical devices. I must take this opportunity here to also thank the Honorable Minister, uh, you know, who's present here, the support that the state government has lent to AMTZ for years, and I hope that they'll continue to do so, because as I again often say to my colleagues across 
in the country that it is indeed a flagship institution uh, of, for which India is proud of. And we are in fact asking if we can clone more of Jitendra Sharma, more of EMTZ, uh, to have a few more such entities built across a large country as India is. Uh, so I would definitely uh, you know, uh, think that this is a great partnership. It's a great way of how two great nations, two great democracies, two great countries which believe in the power of public-private partnership uh, can, can deliver goods uh, to the people and society at affordable prices. Uh, I really look forward uh, to follow this uh, collaboration and all that is required from the government of India, from the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor and to other ministries of government of India. We'll be more than happy to see because this is a national mission and a national priority. For India, and we would lend all possible support uh, to this collaboration, also possible support uh, to the state government to make sure uh, that this blossoms uh, into a beautiful partnership. Uh, thank you once again for giving me the time and opportunity to address you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mitraji. Uh, you have uh, literally seen, as you said, AMTZ growing from a barren land. Um, in fact, uh, you are one of the pioneers in uh, US-India technology funding and partnership. Um, your presence actually gives a lot of confidence in this segment, particularly in medical electronics, uh, Amphenol and AMTZ both. I will just request now uh, Mr. Rajiv Nath, uh, because AMTZ is not about... AMTZ is not about uh, just production at AMTZ. It's about a national mission of taking forward the medical technology manufacturing in India. And if I may request uh, Mr. Rajiv Nath, who heads the Indian Medical Device Manufacturing Association, to say a few words before I request other dignitaries and honorable minister to give their words of encouragement and welcome. Mr. Rajiv Nath, over to you. And requesting all others to put your mic, mics on mute. Uh, Mr. Rajiv Nath, over to you. Hello, everyone. My best wishes and regards to Honorable Minister Reddy. A very warm welcome to you, Mr. Adam Norwit. I was delighted to hear that you have got a very long relationship with India. 50 years, nine plants, and this is going to be the 10th plant. A friend indeed is a friend indeed. And uh, we can see that over here that uh, marriages are made in heaven but implemented in golden places like India. And we can see that you're getting a new house for your organization in Andhra Metric Zone. A very warm welcome to you and congratulations for uh, having this venture. Uh, this is very opportunistic and very timely. Just to brief you, uh, I am an association of Indian medical device industry. We represent uh, seven verticals, uh, the largest vertical by market size being medical electronics of which you are a big part of now. And uh, even though India is 80 to 90% import dependent, the highest potential for growth that we see in the country is in medical electronics. That's why the, when the first medical device park was envisaged, we requested the chief minister at that period of time to focus it on medical electronics. And we did realize that component manufacturing is a crucial part of success of electronics so ventures like yours are most welcome in India. You'll be pleased to note that other medical device parks are coming up in the country. In fact, two more will be coming up, which will be uh, electronic or electrical uh, in nature. One in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, where we recommended to the government over there uh, to also go in for a combination of electrical and electronic instruments. And another one we are in discussions with in uh, UP in North India, in the uh, nearabouts of uh, Delhi, uh, which also we recommended to go into microelectronics and into uh, consumer electronic goods over there. Sensors is a very big part of that ecosystem. And the product line that you have just been explaining also directly and also through your video is extremely impressive and very welcome addition. We import about uh, $6 billion worth of medical devices and about more than $2.2 billion worth of medical electronics. But we have seen that we can grow rapidly. COVID itself has shown that just in the case of ventilators, 
We have grown from eight factories to 16 factories just in four months alone. And we've grown from a capacity of 3,000 ventilators per year to 300, 60,000 ventilators per year it's just in the last four months alone. And if this can be repeated, you can see that you're going to be having a booming market for yourself. It was always a chicken and egg story, but good to have you here. And we will look forward to seeing you progress at Andhra Zone where you will plant your seedling over here. Thank you once again for coming to India. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rajiv Nath. Uh, I will, uh, I will uh, also share a good news. Of course, our very encouraging honorable uh, Minister Industries uh, knows about it, but it's uh, my privilege to mention this to all of you in his presence that uh, Ministry of Electronics and IT Government of India has sanctioned a huge center of excellence for medical electronics at AMTZ. Uh, this has happened because Honorable Minister actually at every stage uh, gave, gave his unflinching support. And uh, the Ministry of Electronics and IT, Excellent. which leads this entire mission of, of electronics in India, has, has recognized AMTZ's role in pioneering medical electronics. Mr. Saurav Gorji, Joint Secretary, Ministry of Electronics and IT is here with us. I will request Mr. Saurav Gorji to speak few words before we exchange the MOU virtually and request our most respected secretary and honorable minister to give their, uh, give their remarks and comments. Mr. Saurav Gorji. Thank you, Dr. Shah. Honorable Minister, Madam Lady Garu, uh, Dr. Nor Mr. Norbert, Ajit Narji, and all the other uh, people who have found time to be present for the, this momentous occasion of signing of MOU between AMTZ and Amazon for manufacturing medical grade. Mr. Raja, you can mute your mic. Mr. Raja, you can please mute your mic from the 3D printing lab. Uh, sorry, Mr. Gaur, go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, as uh, Dr. Sharma said, I'm representing Ministry of Defense and IT. And we have had a very proud association, so to say, both with AMT uh, in the sense that uh, we just mentioned that we are sanctioned uh, Center of Excellence in Medical Electronics and Biophysics at uh, AMT services and also in Amphenol, where Amphenol has a proud participant of our flagship schemes, the earlier scheme, which was called MSIP scheme, the incentive package scheme, and the two applications of Amphenol worth almost 200 crores, or say around 25 million US dollars, were taken up and uh, sanctioned under the scheme. And we have found that uh, uh, Amphenol's drug line, and uh, as was uh, shown by Mr. Norbert also, in all the strategic sectors, whether it is the growth of telecom sector, or now with the automotive, or with strategic electronics, or electronics, I believe Amphenol's presence has enriched the Indian electronic manufacturing ecosystem. We have come out with three new schemes also to further uh, embark on the short story of Indian electronics. Just to recount here, um, today, for example, last year, the electronics manufacturing uh, in India was of the order of almost 82 billion US dollars. And we expect Billion US dollars in the next four to five years. Cumulative average growth rate, but we expect to grow much at a much higher, uh, with a much higher acceleration. And that is where we believe that centers like MDZ and companies like Amazon have a great deal to contribute. So, briefly, just to recount, we have a production and incentive scheme where Amphenol is a probable candidate. If they were to file an application, where six percent of all the production value is given back as incentive. That scheme is available for five years. I will be happy to share more details also. Similarly, there is another scheme in continuation of MSEP scheme where 25% of capital expenditure subsidy is given. 
unplanned machinery, BOT, R&D, etc. So this is the kind of scheme that has been utilized earlier also by Rupinwar. And as they continue to expand their manufacturing, and uh, definitely in the state of Andhra Pradesh also, we would reach them to have much larger footprints. Uh, they would, they can definitely utilize this scheme. And finally, we are setting up electronic manufacturing procedures. We have already one of them. There's plenty new set up. And that is uh, I brought the state government also, and also big companies become a partner in, in these centers. Central and state government put together in these electronic manufacturing centers. And the companies can, can come and set up their production bases here. So without further ado, I again congratulate AMTZ on entering such a strategic partnership with MPNOR. They are similar schemes, like right? they offer schemes on components, they are schemes by pharmaceutical ministry on the products also. And I am sure that the MTZ will become a galvanizing force. Many other industries will come and to utilize the spectrum of schemes that are available from different ministries. Uh, I compliment one more, one more thing. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gaur. Uh, now, uh, with the permission of Honorable Minister, uh, uh, if sir, if you permit, uh, I would like to uh, uh, share the MOU. Sure, go ahead. Congratulations. Uh, this is the best uh, virtual sharing we could do. Uh, a more elaborate sharing will happen in your office, sir. When both me and Amphenol team will come to your, your office and share it. Um, we have our most respected um, Secretary of Industries, uh, Mr. Uh, Karikal Valman, uh, he has been an actually very silent supporter. Uh, right from uh, right from guidance to uh, uh, get to valuable partnerships, he, he is playing constantly a very strategic and guidance role. Uh, I will request the most respected Secretary of Industry to welcome Amphenol before we go to Honorable Minister's address. Sir, over to you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sharma. In fact, uh, it's a great moment of joy and proud for the state of Andhra Pradesh to enter into an MOU with the Amphenol. He is a world leader in sensors and electronic components for establishing its manufacturing facility in the AMTZ. Andhra Pradesh Metex Zone, as we are aware, is the world's first medical equipment research and industrial park with the largest number of scientific facilities, common scientific facilities. So we are proud to have the world number, world renowned industrial park on medical devices in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And we are proud to welcome the world leader, National Advanced Sensors, to establish their manufacturing facility in the AMTZN. But I would like to request the Afinal. The presence, your presence in Andhra Pradesh has to be further strengthened and expanded. You are world leader and you have a very long presence in the, in, in the country, the 50th year you are celebrating. So now you are entering into a virgin land, which is highly potential, where I would like to have your strong presence apart from this. So with these words, I congratulate Dr. Sharma. The whole credit goes to him. He has done a wonderful job in inviting 
the world renowned industries to amtz i also thank our honorable minister for supporting all of us for supporting the industrial growth in the state of andhra pradesh so with these few words i congratulate both amphenol as well as amtz for entering into this mou thank you very much thank you sir uh, your uh, attention to details uh, your focus on safety industrial safety and your ability to guide multiple organizations at the same time is something that we all have to learn from and we certainly benefit uh, from 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 this ability of yours to welcome industries like amphenol with open arms and provide them with all the requisite support we are very grateful for your presence and for your concurrent support that we always get uh, with this uh, the most exciting uh, uh discourse and talk is of course by our uh, very popular and very beloved honorable minister industries mm, he has actually been an an extremely uh, uh, powerful supporter of medical technology manufacturing amtz as an institution and uh, myself as an individual mm, i have benefited from his guidance and his Uh, strategic support at various request honorable minister shri gautam reddy ji uh, to 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 guide us further and uh, give us his uh, his 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 way forward and his directions sir over to you Can you... Yes, we can hear you, sir. We can hear you. Can you hear me, Jitendra? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Well, anyway, uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm live. Uh, I would like to start off with a very kind words have been spoken, and I wish. Uh, There's still a lot more miles to go to fulfill those kind words. Uh, good morning to our friends and our partners in the United States, and uh, good evening to all my friends and colleagues in India. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let me thank uh, the team uh, at the Medtech Zone, the Andhra Pradesh Medical Tech Zone, uh, and especially the team led by Mr. Nand Sharma, and all his continuous effort in bringing in. Every day, a new attracting new initiatives into the medical zone is a commendable one, and I must also thank the Ministry of Electronics and IT for favoring the state of Andhra Pradesh in getting the new initiative in. Uh, my personal welcome to the team at the Anthonom, led by Mr. Abraham Nowit. Uh, although he said that he is no stranger to Anthonom, is no stranger to Indian military industrial uh, picture. How I am trying to believe, right? This is the first time that such a joint venture collaboration is happening in the medical manufacturing segment. So, congratulations to you all. Uh, just to start off with, uh, I have just a few words to discuss about um, what the state of Andhra Pradesh has to offer and uh, how this metric zone has all come about. Uh, I think the state, you know, when this country would send a satellite to Mars for a fraction of a cost. I think the the Indian intellectuals had felt the need that this such a populous country, which is dependent on the always on the export import of this medical equipment, it could be substituted by manufacturing it locally here. So, sir we can hear you uh, please go ahead
I think Honorable Ministers, uh, uh, I think he was traveling, so he has a small disconnection. He is trying to link back. Uh, I also see here uh, without video, uh, until Honorable Minister is back, uh, Madam Mrs. Puna Malkondayaji. Uh, um, Ma'am, are you there? Hello? Yes. Yeah, madam, are you there? Yes, yes, I am here. Yeah, so uh, the minister is actually joining again. But uh, uh, madam, Mrs. Puna Malkundiaji is the special chief secretary in the state of Andhra Pradesh and was the first chairperson of the board of directors of Andhra Pradesh. I'll request her to speak to her, until Honorable Minister joins in. Uh, good evening to everyone, and I am very happy to be participating in this event. Uh, I have been uh, with uh, AMTZ ever since its uh, uh, start from the scratch. Uh, wonderful work has been done in the last three years under uh, the leadership of uh, Dr. Jitendra Sharma, and I am very happy to see this partnership going ahead. I really uh, wish all the very best uh, to AMTZ and to its partnerships. I really take this opportunity to thank uh, the uh, Government of India uh, and also uh, take this opportunity to uh, welcome uh, the new uh, partners who are uh, going to have a wonderful time ahead. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Jitendra, for uh, inviting me for this. Thank you so much. Right, Madam. Thank you very much. Uh, your support is, is always very precious to us. Um, uh, um, I just got another call from the Honorable Minister's office that uh, his connection is not going through. Uh, he is a person who is more connected on ground than on uh, channels like us. He is a person who really lives uh, uh, with the people. And uh, that's no surprise that uh, he is... Uh, 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 further away from computer and closer to people. Uh, I'll request uh, uh, more our respected secretary, uh, industries, government of Andhra Pradesh, uh, to actually, on behalf of Honorable Minister, uh, speak to the audience uh, and so that we can conclude this meeting. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jitendra Sarmaji. Um, thank you, Dr. Poonam Malakundaya. And Poonam Malakundaya is the uh, instrumental in uh, in the development of AMTZ, and she is the she was the first uh, chairperson of this uh, great uh, institution, and I welcome her to this uh, gathering, and I thank her on behalf of everyone because she is responsible for all these things. She has laid the foundation. Now we are enjoying the fruits, um, and I would like to assure the 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 amphenol the industry, that uh, you are welcome here. You will have a very, very comfortable uh, operation. Uh, and our new industrial policy is likely to be released very early, very soon. The industrial policy will support the industries in all respects. It will give the infrastructural support, and it will also try to de-risk the industries. The one-stop shop, which we are proposing in the new industrial policy, will be a landmark. So that will be a highlight of the policy. Like any developed country, you will have your ideas can be converted into projects. Your ideas can be supported with uh, all uh, required uh, uh, necessary uh, services. Moreover, the uh, upfront cost, the production cost, so that to make you competitive in the market, 
we are planning to reduce the investment, the initial investment. So with that, you'll be able to compete with other competitors in the world market. So that is how we are planning. So I request Amphenol. So Amphenol is our ambassador. So Amphenol, which has come into uh, our AMTZ, has to uh, has to bring in more investment from American companies. And especially now we are looking for, we are creating a task force also. We are looking for more investment. The, the American companies which are likely to be relocated from China. So we would like to welcome, welcome them here with the red carpet and we'll, we'll provide all necessary support, end-to-end -end support. So it will be not only during uh, initial approvals, not only the initial approvals, but also during establishment, even after establishment, after post, post-establishment, during your operation, we'll be hand-holding you. So we'll be providing you all necessary support. So this message has to go. So I request you to spread this message and see that more investment, and because it's very advantageous. You have a huge network. You have a huge infrastructure network. You have air network, you have ports, six operational ports are there. Another four more ports are coming up. And we are developing mini ports, which are uh, fishing harbors, as well as uh, coastal shipping, it will be useful. So that way, our interest is to make all the industries who are their presence in the state of Andhra Pradesh more comfortable in marketing their product, in, in doing trade and commerce, in everything. We have a good rail network, road network, and we have six operational airports and three more airports are coming up or under development. So that way, the connecti air connectivity is perfect, rail connectivity, road connectivity, and also the port connectivity, the coastal shipping, so that uh, uh, the the life of an industrialist who, has, who is going to invest in the state of Andhra Pradesh will be very, very comfortable and will be profitable. So it is a win-win situation for both of us. So I request the Amphenol. I take this opportunity to uh, request, to appeal to all the American companies to come and invest in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So thank you very much. That is it. Then that I think you can go ahead with that. Thank you. I have I have tried again to connect with Honorable Minister's office, uh, but uh, I'm not sure if he will be able to get to internet. Uh, but Mr. Adam, any 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 uh, uh, parting words before uh, we have you here? Uh, uh, because your team is already here, uh, the factory is ready. Mm, and uh, I think we are going at uh, the best possible speed uh, with our collective efforts. Uh, but if there is anything more that you would like to say for now, after which we can close the meeting. Yes, well, Dr. Sharma and to all the dignitaries that are here, we're truly grateful for all of your kind words and words of support. Uh, our team is very excited. We have also uh, Mahesh Patel, who is here. He is going to be the one on the ground, taking charge of setting up this project and this new investment coming from our Hyderabad sensor design team. And we wish Mahesh all the best as he works together with you, Dr. Sharma, and your team to establish our operations there. And we just only look forward. We look forward to a great partnership we look forward to a great future, and we look forward to a great future for India and Amphenol all together. And thank you again for all of your great support. And the final thing I want to say to everybody is, amidst a crisis like we are living in today, the COVID-19 pandemic, there is always opportunity and danger in any crisis. And what I'm so proud of in this partnership is that we've navigated the danger of working together so that you can, you can satisfy those short-term needs, but we're also taking advantage of the potential that comes out of a crisis. And I think that that potential will be a wonderful and, and great partnership for the future that will create great value for India and great value for Amphenol going forward. We look forward to meeting you all in person one day, whenever that is possible in the near future. Thank you so much, Dr. Sharma, and to all uh, who have supported this initiative. Uh, thank you, Mr. Adam. Uh, thank you. I just wanted to uh, uh, tell you with a summary 
that in this meeting today, you have the manufacturers of AMTZ, you have um, the Indian medical device industry represented by Mr. Nath, friend and supporter of the sector in India, and, and a brand ambassador of India, Indian made medical devices globally. You have the highest level of scientific authority from the government of India, from the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister. You have the uh, uh, most uh, willing and supportive uh, industry secretary of Andhra Pradesh state who explained us the innovative uh, and progressive industrial policy. Uh, you have uh, uh, the uh, the first chairperson of AMTZ uh, to tell you the institutional capability and credibility that we enjoy. Uh, you have the, uh, the, the driving policy institution in electronics and IT from the Union Government of India, Mr. Saurav Gaur, uh, who is leading the initiative of electronics progress in the country. And you have multiple of our partners and you can actually see live pictures of manufacturing of medical devices happening in some of the windows as well. So right from a policy to manufacturing, to research, to partners, to facilitators, and most importantly, the uh, minister of industries from the state, uh, all uh, willing and happy about your presence uh, in India, your continued presence, and you are going into medical electronics at AMTZ. I assure you on behalf of AMTZ and all the partners that right from manufacturers who are here uh, waiting for you to supply them, I can see some of those manufacturers smiling because you have become their suppliers. Uh, and right from the market waiting for you, which you are already serving, to production space, which you already have, uh, to an industry which is welcoming you, to the decision makers and policy makers, you are more than welcomed as part of your family. And we continue to look forward to cherish this relationship, friendship, and in the times of a crisis as an exemplary example to many other sectors and many other public private partnerships. With that, I thank you and your team once again welcoming you to AMTZ, and I thank all the people who are in the audience today helping us carve out this wonderful partnership. Once again, thank you very much, and welcome to the AMTZ family. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining, and a uh, um, record would be available on the YouTube and Facebook and other social media channels. Uh, we are grateful for your continued participation and we look forward to working with you and enjoying your cooperation uh, always. Thank you very much and have a great weekend. Thank you and good evening, great weekend.